All right, everybody. Hi, uh, I'm Phoenix, and uh, you're watching Eating with Phoenix. Eating ice cream with Phoenix, because you just got to do everything with Phoenix. So many things to do. So I just went to Coles IDA and I found this particular brand. It's a Coles brand, um, and they're selling all these variations of ice cream, all these very different kinds. So here's. Pavlova passion we have and I thought these were interesting so I thought I'd give them all a shot because they're on special at the moment and they're only selling for three dollars how good's that so there's Pavlova licorice all sorts I know that piqued my interest peanut butter yeah they, they keep they keep on coming and gooey chocolate brownie yes that's very exciting isn't it Look at, look at all these ice creams. Oh my god. Anyway, there was like some banana flavored ice cream or whatever. But anyway, I'm, right now I'm going to sample each one of these. Starting with the caramel popcorn. Which, to be honest, I've already opened and I've had one, one teaspoon. I thought, this is amazing. I have to share this. But I'm just going to pretend this is my first time. Alright, so. Alright. So, we're going to try the uh, salted caramel ice cream and see how this one goes down. Oh wow! Actually, I just got a piece of popcorn, which I've never had before. Wow! This is amazing! Oh my god! Seriously, we usually get salted popcorn ice cream. You can kind of taste slight salt and a little bit of like some strange flavor. This one actually has popcorn in it, and it's pretty salty. It's a lot more salty than what you usually get when you have salted ice cream, but it's delicious. I really like that. For a Coles brand, for $3, that is a really good buy. All right, so on to the next. Chocolate gooey brownie. Open this one up, Let's see what's inside. Oh, that looks good. Chocolate gooey brownie. So apparently this has chalk fudge rippling through crumbles of baked brownie with the background of rich dark chocolate cream. So let's see if I can find any of this texture in here. So far it just looks like ice cream. I don't see any fudge. Where's the fudge? What the fudge are they talking about? Alright. Let's let's go for it. Let's try this. There's actually a lot of fudge on the top. A lot of fudge right there, right at the top. Oh no, there's more down the bottom too. Oh. oh wow. That's actually not bad. I mean, the fudge bits are nice. I don't really taste the, the brownie, kind of crumbly cookie taste and texture which I really like in ice cream maybe there's some deep down inside I don't know but the ice cream itself is really nice really dark rich creamy and a really deep flavor it's very nice so that's that's gooey chalk brownie ice cream mm. also by cold all right on to the next one so this one is the peanut butter ice cream I'm excited about this because I love peanut butter. I love Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh my god. They're pretty special. This is I've never tried peanut butter ice cream to be honest. I don't think I've even seen that. And like if you go to like your general ice cream stores, Jalari and whatnot, I don't think I've ever seen peanut butter ice cream. So that's pretty interesting. Alright, let's try this. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's got nuts in there. It's got a lot of nuts. Mmm. Okay. That's interesting. Going in, it's kind of salty. Like salted caramel. Midway, you start tasting the peanut butter. 
And then as soon as you suck down the gulp of it, like the, the bulk of it, the aftertaste is really strong peanut butter, but still kind of salty, but very nice. Mmm, mmm. It's actually really nice. And there's a lot of nuts. There's a lot of nuts in here. So that's really good. Mmm. I'm going to leave the licorice one to the last because that's just so exciting. This one's pretty exciting too though. The Pavlovian Passion Ice Cream. This is so surprising of Coles. Like to actually make an original product. Good on them. I reckon. So far they've been pretty easy to open. As you've seen, 3 out of 5. I opened with relative ease which means you can just dive into your ice cream quickly as possible. Which is what you want. Especially with all those Jump the Huts out there. You don't want to be fucking around with the ice cream and that could be eating time. Ice cream eating time. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, this feels really smooth. It looks really smooth. It looks like just pure white, like vanilla ice cream. But could it actually taste like pavlova? Which really is just like, I don't know, it's kind of like an eggy flavor. It's mostly egg, isn't it? So, it's still kind of like, just like sugar, flavorless. I don't know, we'll see how this goes. All right. Mmm. Oh my God. Delicious ripples of mango passion fruit and crunchy merengue pieces for tantalizing texture. I wouldn't quite call it tantalizing. I'm pretty sure I'm not being tantalized. But it's pretty exciting. You know what I'm saying? There's actually like, yeah, pavlovian and meringue, meringue pieces in here. And you can you can just nibble on it as you're eating your ice cream. Mmm. Mmm. Otherwise, it's still just vanilla ice cream. I can't really taste the passion fruit too strongly. But the meringue is really nice. Did I say meringue the first time? That's like a, a dance. That's totally nothing to do with things you put in your mouth. Oh. So we are on to the one that piqued my interest. The first one I saw on their advertisement board. Luca Shaw sorts. I love these. I always like the like green and pink and green, orange and pink ones. They're awesome. Look at that. Doesn't that just look amazing? All right. See, I actually walked from the shop with these, so they're all just perfectly. I always like to, if I have ice cream and it's too cold, you know, you gotta like stab it with your spoon. I don't like that, you know. It's, what I prefer to do is put it in the microwave for like 40 seconds, you know what I'm saying? Maybe a minute, depending. Usually 40 seconds. And yeah, then it goes all moosey on the top and then it's like a little bit soft underneath. It's really good. This looks amazing. I'm I'm carving through, as you can see, there's like chocolate, you can't see there, but there's like black stuff, which I'm assuming is licorice under where I carved out with my spoon. So let, let's check this out. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh my god, like seriously guys, I just lost my shit, sorry about that, <clears throat> this is absolutely amazing, look at these thick, thick, it's like licorice, licorice sauce, and it's just jam packed with the stuff, I mean, it was dripping a moment ago, I've kind of mushed it in all my excitement, there we are, oh my god, there's so much sauce in there like all the way through this shit and it's actually got little bits of like the um the icing or whatever they use on the little licorice all sorts of square things this shit is amazing all of them are pretty good especially this one 
So, um, yeah, guys, Coles, uh, special ice cream varieties. Apparently, they're all little works of art. I wouldn't say that's too far removed from the truth. These are pretty special, pretty off center for Coles, surprising. Ugh. Ugh. And yeah, holy crap. So, I gotta say, my favorite would be the licorice all sorts, as anticipated. Followed by the caramel popcorn, which is a really nice saltiness to it, if you like that kind of thing. Followed, and it's a tough one, by the chocolate, I don't know, I reckon the chocolate and the peanut butter tie. They're both pretty good, but the peanut butter is kind of similar to the caramel popcorn. Um, it isn't too different. It's a slightly less salty, a little bit more peanut buttery. And the Pavlovian one last. I mean, it's nice. I can't taste the passion fruit. The meringue is awesome. But I'm, I'm not a huge fan of vanilla. If you're a fan of vanilla, then, you know, you, you'll probably love uh, this one. The whole Pavlova passion. Otherwise, you know, I think there's quite a bit here. Like I said, they had a banana one there, which I'm going to try out. But yeah, I'm actually really impressed. Um, and you guys should totally go out. $3 at the moment. Three dollars, I know, it's pretty cheap, pretty special, even if they're only like 500 mils, you know, awesome. And yeah, go out and grab yourself some of these things, while, what, before they got to like six bucks or something, which is probably what's going to happen, because they're, they're pretty awesome. I think it's like a promotional thing. And wow, I think I just helped promote Coles. Yeah. Alright guys, Ugh. five minutes later, and... The liquor is all sorts, as good as it is, as amazing as it is, and as much as I just polish a whole fuck ton of it, is actually shifted down to second position. And I had to go back to resample the ice cream that I placed at second before, which was the caramel popcorn. And holy fuck Jesus, like, and when I say there's popcorn in here, I mean like there's pieces, like you can see there, massive piece. This shit is amazing, like, this is like magnum quality ice cream right here. And the saltiness and the richness and the popcorniness. Wow. It's probably gonna start looking like this container. Open up, wait, that container in a second. But really I should just put it away because everything has a price. But for these ones, the price is only $3 if you're not counting the calories. And that, my friends, is pretty freaking awesome. Caramel popcorn. If you don't like licorice, at least try this one. Because holy shit, man. It's good. It's real good. And I'm gonna enjoy it now, but you guys you guys have fun doing whatever you're doing. I'm gonna be getting this in my face.